Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Um, it's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful opportunity to be here again on the Gospel Truth, Shaking Tables, Using the Scriptures. My name is Tolua Lokwe Tolua She. And as always, I have my co-host here with me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christabel Morigui. All right, Christabel, thank you for coming and thank you for being on the show. And today, <laughs> today is an exciting day for me because um, this episode is going to be different. And when I say different, it's going to be very different. I'm sure that you've been used to myself and just Christabel being here. But today we have an amazing, wonderful and powerful woman of God. She's an actor. Yeah, if you are familiar with the popular Johnson series, she played the Jennifer role, and I'm sure we always enjoy our character in that series. She's also an author, being a woman. If you have read it, if you have not read it, please make sure you get it to read. Uh, she's also an entrepreneur, the boss perfume, if you have heard of it. <laughs> and if you haven't, <laughs> you are darling. She's a mother, she's a wife, she's a pastor's wife, and... She's a, I'm meeting her for the first time and she has been so amazing since she stepped into this place. And so, um, oblige me to do the honors of inviting Sheon Oshigbeso Jeonik. <laughs> I you hope tried. I got it. <laughs> no, no, mm, you tried. I just had it in my mind that I wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing to have you thank here, man. You. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Not. You know, um, having to reach out to you and getting the positive response that you gave to us mm -hmm. and, you know, showing interest in being with us on this show, it really means a lot to us mm -hmm. and we really, really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. Yes, man. that's what we live for. It's all about, you know, being a blessing to people. Yeah. yeah. So you shouldn't hesitate when you're being called to be a blessing to people. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank Thank you so much. You right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, moving on, hmm. we have a very, very important topic to talk about today. Mm. In fact, that topic eh, <laughs> is a table shaker. You know, and you know, as always, gospel truth, we are shaking the tables today and we are using the scriptures to shake that table. As always. <laughs> yes, as always. So there's this thing, no money. No love. That's the rave now. If there is no money, no love. love. So we are going to be discussing financial stability as a determining factor in relationships. So um, there has been this, this ideology that um, a man, most especially, because this financial stability, it kind of falls more to the men's side than to the women's side. Mm -hmm. So there, there has been this ideology about financial stability that if a man does not have money, mm -hmm. He should not even think about loving. He should not even bother to say he wants to talk to a woman. Yeah. Talk less of, you know, toasting the woman or talking about marriage. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you see to it. I don't, I, I don't know why it has to be like that because I feel that financial stability shouldn't be on the side of the man alone. Because if you are saying you are looking for a man that is financially stable, is it for you to just fold your hands and sit and you enjoy the money? Let him just be spraying you. Let the soft him. life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Live the, the soft life, the baby girl life. The baby girl life. <laughs> so is, 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 that, is that what it should be? Is, is that what it should be? Or it should, you know, it, mm. it should be balanced. Mm. There should be financial stability on both sides. Yeah. yeah. And should there be an issue? Should it be like no money, no love? Is it wrong to love somebody? if you don't have money. No, it is not wrong to love someone as a man if you do not have money. Uh, however, it depends on whom you're loving. Mm. Yeah, so um, it is actually about the time and age we live in right now, mm -hmm. you know, where no money, no respect. Mm. Yeah, it is about no money, no respect. Even aside relationship or love and dating relationship now you know it's everywhere you know when they see that you're doing well you know when they see that you have money they begin to respect you mm. your the people who used to look down on you you know begin yeah. to, to holler yeah, yeah hey important. my guy my, exactly <laughs> you become Someone more important of class. You, exactly <laughs> you know so it is the same 
you know, not to now talk of love and dating relation. No, no. Mm. Yeah, hey. no, 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 now. <laughs> so before you come, look, look at me. Wow. Yeah, there are some ladies like that. Mm. Look at me. Am, am I am I suffering? You know, so <laughs> don't even don't even go there. Even don't even, if you do not look like it, at least just look like it first. Be my mm. speck. You understand? Mm. Uh, hey. So the outward appearance to some ladies, uh, you know, uh, speaks volume. It, 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 it's a lot to them. Yeah. You know, so you have to look like it first. If you do not look like it, then you're not you're not in their level. In their you're level. not their spec. Not so you should be even the character. exactly be talking to them. So for some lady, they tell you, I can't even date a guy that does not there is not earning at least 250k at least let's just start from there (laughs) Mm -hmm. at least 250k Mm -hmm. yes you know because she has a standard okay Mm. so she has a standard and she's living by it she doesn't jump buses she doesn't jump by lifestyle exactly you know so there are some ladies like that that Mm. is their lifestyle so if you want to come to me I mean you should even be above that lifestyle mm-hmm. yeah before not we even can, on the same level yeah, you have to be above before it. we can talk and well and there are some ladies who are probably on the average okay yeah yeah they are on the average you know there are some there are different categories mm-hmm. really so there are some ladies who are on the average like um I just a good guy is okay mm-hmm. they say it but they don't, don't mean really it. mean it. A good guy is just okay because when they now eventually find a good guy, probably with um, not really stable um, finance and, and all of that, yeah. they begin to have problems. Yeah. Mm. They begin to have problems, you know. So sometimes what they say is not what they really mean. It's mm. not, it's not. You have to define uh-huh. themselves in that situation and before you, you really know that is it. if they mean it or not. Do you or get not. Yes. <laughs> or Until not. they start experiencing so, that, give me money. Yes. Uh, I, I don't yes. have you, now. Uh, yeah, but I, want exactly. I want to shop. Exactly. Yeah, it becomes a problem. Uh, yes. Wow. So it becomes a problem and they cannot when okay probably if they have a mentor and all of that, they can't tell the mentor that this is the problem. It's money issue. Mm-hmm. They won't be able to say it, so they'll just say, uh, uh, the, uh, "He didn't call me yesterday, or he, he has been he he has been calling me family. exactly." <laughs> or they, they just look for something to say. Is he a good guy? They know mm-hmm. he's a good guy. Okay, he's always there for you. This one, that one, but it's it's just the money issue because mm-hmm. I mean I have to measure up mm-hmm. with friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even now, like what you've said now, we've kind of generalized it for, you know, all ladies, whether you're a believer yeah. or not. Mm. So now in a situation whereby you are a believer, yeah. you are a Christian sister, mm. you've been convinced that God told you that I am for you, you are for me. Yeah. You've confirmed it. Mm-hmm. So why should this money thing still be a problem? A problem? Why can't they, you know, try to reason out together, try to see how they can manage it and handle it in a godly manner. But then it eventually ends up as the way it ends up in the world for those that, you know, don't really believe in Jesus Christ or believe in the gospel. So why, why, why are we not as Christians, you know, raising the standard up by doing it right? I don't... (laughs) Yeah. Well, it is... um... It is sad, you know, that, uh, you know, ladies, some ladies behave that way. You know, they appear uh, like the good girls and all of that. It's not about the money. Mm -hmm. It's not about the money. Workers, ushers, choir members in the church. It's not about the money. And really, there are some ladies that it is actually not about the money. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They are. It's just that you might, it's rare. Yeah. To find them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, scripture says that um, uh, a, a virtuous woman who can find yes you know it's 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 you can't find them everywhere everywhere those kind well, of they ladies exist. La- yes they exist ah yeah. they exist though mm-hmm. they exist I'm one of them <laughs> glory I'm also one of them <laughs> I'm, I'm one, one of them <laughs> He's yes, so the Olani la nani. <laughs> really, they are so they are very very hard to find. It is not about the money. It is mm-hmm. about the person. 
they are they are concerned about the person you know so and that is what i tell my single ladies is not about what the person has it is be concerned be more concerned about the person itself sure. who is he mm. who is he so it is not because the bible says all these things and all these things shall be added they are added yes. advantage yes. Yeah. oh he has a car oh he has a good job mm-hmm. oh is it they are added the bible says seek first the kingdom, the kingdom of, god of god and his righteousness mm-hmm. is he a righteous man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Word. you you understand so i tell them be more concerned about who is he, who he is who is he who is he find out about who discover him know exactly his kind of person. what are his values yeah. what does he stand for the world and all that stuff how, how legitimate is it? Is, are you just bothered? Do like, you just care all about the money? money. How is he making the money? Yeah. Do you know? No, you're not concerned. Exactly. As long as can afford can my afford baby girl me. lifestyle. Exactly. It's not supposed to be You sure. get it. You get it. So it is because the person you are looking down on today can actually have all these things tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> and you, 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 you'll be regretting that you didn't actually say. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so it is, it is, and maybe when you look down on him, you didn't say yes or anything. Mm-hmm. And in the next two years, you're not married. And, and probably he, he has a babe. And he has all these things that mm-hmm. he didn't have before. <laughs> and now you want to get close to him because, you know, he's he, looking like it. Like you what understand? you wanted He into. will not value you. No. He will not value you because mm-hmm. when he didn't have... You didn't see him as, as important. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You understand? So there are actually some girls who do not care about what he has or what he does not have. Mm-hmm. There are people that, like but yeah. they are very hard They're to very find. Hard. Yeah. And there are also, you know, ladies who who really care about all these things. Just have total package. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You total have package. to be, yeah, you have to be a total package physically. You know, tall, dark, and handsome. Mm-hmm. You know, he has a good job. He mm-hmm. has a car. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he speaks in tongues. Mm-hmm. Look at that. He lives on oh, the island. He lives on the island. <laughs> he has a house. He has an apartment to himself. Yeah. You know, he, oh, he, he does it. Even if his mom, mommy's boy, they exactly. don't mind. Yes. As long as the money is coming in. <laughs> that is it. So, a <laughs> man that mind. looks like... So, there are different categories of ladies. Mm-hmm. So, you, you were asking... I want to hit the, the question. The, the question. So mm. I was asking that why, I think you actually okay, okay. A- attended right. to it. You were, okay. I was asking that why should believers also yeah. follow the trend yeah, whereby okay. you have been convinced yeah. as a believer that, oh, God told me that is the one. Yes. Yeah. And he told him I am the one. Yes. But then because the financial situation is not yet it. Yes. Then you, you, you see it and all of a sudden it looks as if he's no longer the one. Yes. Or she's yeah. no longer the one. Yes. Is it meant, like I was saying, is it meant to be like that? Mm-mm. Because we see in, in I, I know you must have experienced it mm. being that you are in the ministry. Mm. You know, you see in some departments in the church, yeah. you see ladies that have been in the church for as long as you know. Some mm. of them, even before you joined that church. Yeah. And yeah. you wonder as to the reason why they've not been able to settle down mm-hmm. as because of their activity in the church. Yes. Is it that God is not, you know, blessing them? The mm. same thing for a guy too. Yeah. Is it that God is not, the messages they are listening mm. to is not putting, the, positioning yeah. them mm. in the right place. So I try to wonder why is why? it still on this standard of, oh, is money, it, mm-hmm. it has to have the money. Yeah. So is it like the word that we are hearing mm-hmm. or they are hearing is not, you know, yeah, some, meeting up? Some, some, the thing is, um, about some ladies just um, base their um, whatever um, uh, standard. standard or criteria yeah. on their background or their experiences, mm-hmm. what they have experienced, the you past. know, in the past, you know, I'm done with broke guys. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm. I'm done with broke guys. <laughs> I don't even want all that wala anymore. I don't mm. want to probably because they have done it before. They have dated you for who you are, mm. not for what you have. You have okay, yeah. and then it didn't still work out, mm. or you it's treated them, or uh, hey, you, yeah, you happen to be you happen not to be a good person and mm. all of that. So they want to go now. They want to try to package and mm. all of that. So they still 
miss the point. The point is seek first the kingdom of exactly. God. Exactly, it's about the person. It is not about what he has yes. or what he does not have. Mm. So because they are, so some to some is based on past experiences. Mm. To some, not is based on their standard. This is my standard. Mm-hmm. Okay, I then some they are bringing. Exactly. Some they are bringing. Some they they are used to yeah. living the good life. Uh, yeah. So they yeah. don't want to. They don't, don't want to. They, they, they don't want Drop to go it. below it. Yeah. They don't want to struggle yeah, exactly. with anyone. They don't want to. Mm. Uh, so yeah. that that is probably uh, different reasons why, why? ladies yeah, mm. do that. So yeah. so then for for a single that's trying to go into a relationship, a male or a female. So how how do you think they should handle their finances? Like, okay. is it something that should be discussed? Yes. Is it, or is it something that, as long as the guy has money, I'm okay. I will just go and relax, and mm. he will work and come and bring mm. money. Like, is finance something that should be discussed? Because people have different values, different upbringing, like we've just said. So, mm. what should a person going into a relationship, or a person in a relationship that's trying to lead to marriage? Yeah. What should? Okay. Yeah. So now you just mentioned that it's leading to marriage mm-hmm. because if it is not leading, if you're just in a love and dating relationship, you shouldn't see. I, I don't see why you, you should, should discuss finance and all of that. Right. But if you're in a courtship leading to marriage, like courtship, because the thing is, courtship. Many people do not understand what courtship is. Mm. Yeah, and that is why they don't talk about the important, important things. things. Yeah, so courtship is not about it's not about letting your guard down. Like, oh, he has proposed, and everybody knows already mm-hmm. we're getting married. So now I can, a Christian lady can say, oh, now I can we can have sex. Mm-hmm. You understand? And because we are getting married in the it's next, it's not a big deal anymore. So exactly. Why don't you so just let, they now? let their guard down. But they forget what courtship, or they don't even know what courtship really means. Because courtship, when it comes to courtship, you it is it is it is about you're about to get married. Mm-hmm. Okay? You're about to get married. So when if you're about to get married, there are some there, there is you should plan. Yes. So courtship is about planning for marriage. Mm. It is the stage you have gotten to the stage where now. Marriage is in the is in our face, mm-hmm. Lord. Like a decision view, of a lifetime. Thank you. Is in view. Now let us plan for it. Right. I've accepted mm-hmm. to marry you. You have proposed to me. I have accepted. Now let us plan for it. So there are some aspects of marriage that people do not know, or people do not understand. A lot of people go into marriage and they don't understand. Yes. There is there is the um, um, family aspect of marriage. There is the sex aspect of marriage. Mm-hmm. There is finance aspect of marriage. There is spiritual aspect of marriage. You understand? All these things, you plan. Mm. You understand? If there is spiritual aspect of marriage, that means I'm, I'm a Christian, you're a Muslim, you should talk about it yeah. in courtship. How do so, you want to manage exactly, it? Exactly. How do you want to, how do we want to manage it? Who is Bending for who? Yeah. Are you going to become a Christian? Am I going to become a Muslim? Yes. You get, so it has to be because Bible says two have become one. one. So you, th- you should think about that. So a lot of people do not understand, mm. but because of the love that they feel, yeah. they just the, enter into the, so the butterflies. The is, <laughs> if you are in courtship, you have marriage in view, you should talk about these things, including mm. finance. Which is an aspect of marriage. Yes. You should talk about family, like how many kids are we having? What school are they going to attend? You should talk about these things. Mm. How many is it you, you get? Yes. So you should talk about finance. Because finance he, he, is a major aspect of marriage. The, <laughs> money is important. Very People much. See what do not, our Naira scarcity has caused. They, just, the feel, of these they two just feel, oh, because you are working. And me too. I'm doing one small business. Mm. We are Everything good. Everything is we'll, fine. We'll, when we get to that bridge, we we'll cross, cross it. it. <laughs> That's the mistake. <laughs> A lot of mistake. Yeah. <laughs> that you know, single people make yeah. because they just say, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross, cross it. it. Yeah. Don't bother me. Like don't. When you begin to ask them. Oh, when we get to that, we cross it. As no, in, I don't, well, as what, 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 what matters is that we, we love sure, each okay. other. Yeah. Hmm. There's piling. no issue. We are not fighting. It's piling. But the thing is, love is not enough. It's not. not you have to. Communication is is the 
is is what you know holds a relationship yeah. whatever relationship friendship marriage yes. love and dating whatever yes. it is yeah. communication is what holds a relationship mm. if 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 i'm dating you you are dating we are dating each other mm-hmm. and you you are in the abroad how do you want I mean, I'm in the Nigeria. communication you, going exactly. to Exactly. If there is no communication, that relationship is dead. Yeah. Yes, to die. When you want to talk, you, the first thing is, oh, how was your day? Before you exactly. know, you've talked about sweet things, That's sweet things, sweet things. Relationship. About so if thing. there is no communication holding it hmm. together, that relationship is, is dead. dead. Whatever relationship, be it friendship, be it love and dating relationship, it, it is dead. So communication is very key in any kind of relationship. Yeah. So what do you do with communication? You talk. Hmm. You talk about what is yeah what marriage is all about. Yes. So you talk about finance. That's why you talk about finance. So okay. who is going to I mean, I know man is the provider. Mm-hmm. You talk about it. Where are you coming in as the wife? Exactly. Where are you coming in as the because wife? Because some ladies come into marriage with my money is my money. Yeah. While yeah. your money is our money. You understand? No, so no, but no, when no. you talk about it. You know the mindset of that person. Yeah. yeah. So you begin to deal with it yeah. before you before enter you it. Get married. Mm-hmm. To so, add to that, sorry, to add to, to add to that, you know, I, I also feel that in this courtship, when it comes to finance, there are some certain things that both parties you need to understand about yeah. their partner. Yeah. Which is okay, the person you are in a relationship with or you are engaged to, how is she? when it comes to money. Mm. Spending habits. When money yeah. gets to her hand, yes. how does she handle it? Yes, but, ah, we're getting the t- there. Mm. <laughs> we're getting there. Is she, mm. is she the type that, you know, you give her money, okay, yes. um, what do you need to do yeah. and all that? And she just goes out, mm. she just gets things that are not necessary mm-hmm. and leaving the important things. Things out, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. Is he a guy that you just come to come and meet you, babe? There's this business. There's this thing that I need to do. I need some money. I need you to raise me. Yeah. And then you collect the money. But that's the last time you hear about money that Money or business will be nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I feel that those boundaries should be set. Yes. Yeah. But most of the time, from the side of the man, they feel that they need to um, satisfy the lady. Mm, like the lady is just being a lady. Yeah, she's just been a lady. Ladies spend. She wants to That's shop. Do. Don't worry, yeah. give her money. Let her go and shop. Mm. She wants to travel. Yeah. Give her money. Let her mm. go and travel. You make her feel that, oh, mm. is, is, mm. is, is, is something is normal. It's normal. But it's then, women how do. sustainable is it yeah. when you get married? Yes. So I feel that those boundaries when it comes to finances, should mm. also be set. Yes, yes. Understand the spending habit yes. of your partner. Yes. Is your husband the type that, oh, or your, your guy the type mm. that feels that, ah, this money, lest you put it aside. Mm. This one that you want to do mm. is not yet saves. important. Yeah. yeah. But if you are in a relationship with somebody that she feels that, ah, no, another one will come. Oh, yeah. ah, no, let's spend this one. How much is yeah. this one that we are keeping? Yeah. It's not, it's not Money playing. Money will always come it's mentality. Always, it will always come. So I feel that boundary. Yes, the, the thing is... Um, some people don't see money as a big deal in a relationship. Mm. Yeah, so they don't really talk about it. Mm. Yeah, but when I was going to get married, thank God, the mindset my husband and I had about everything is that we are one. Yeah. So even in finance, we are one. Mm. So your money is my money, my money is your money. Yeah. So you make money, we have made money. Uh, I oh, make money. Wow, that's great. <laughs> I make money, <laughs> we have made money. Yes. Okay. So, and then some men do not feel um, the importance of, of telling their wives how much they earn. Yeah. Wives, some women too, they don't, they don't bother. They don't bother. They don't see it as a big deal. Mm. Oh, he's, he's still working. Mm. And then he should just provide for the house. That's all. That's all that matters. But the thing is, if you are truly one, okay, if you are truly married, yeah, and you're not living like um, housemates, mm-hmm. flatmates, yeah. flatmates or housemates and, you know, or friends with benefits. Mm-hmm. So we are just, there should be this bond. Mm. in everything you do. Mm. So that's that's the way I see yes, it. Yes. It's marriage. Mm. Marriage. We call it a marriage. A marriage so yeah. you shouldn't be like, 
like um, strangers to each other. And there should be openness. There should be openness. Yes. We are not strangers. Like we are friends. Mm-hmm. We are we are together. Mm-hmm. Like we are together. But some couples don't see themselves like that. They don't. They are not together in everything they do. They're not and together. Doesn't help a common goal. For it does. So it doesn't help the finance. It does, yeah. So if if you see a couple that have a joint account, is they they sat down to talk about it yeah. before they had the joint account. I'm a witness. I'm, I'm and it is <laughs> and it is bonding. You don't understand. Yeah, it, it is, is a bonding. level of yeah, in agreement. togetherness. Yes. Agreement. Yes. You understand? It's yeah. agreement. We have a joint account. Yes. Oh, we I we, we draw a budget every month. This is how much we are spending. This month, or which is how much we are spending that much? How much is Mama collecting? How much is this one collecting? How much is brother collecting? How much is the children? How much as in, doesn't matter to this course. It is quite a lot. It is, but people don't pay attention to all these details about finance. Mm-hmm. So they just do things the way oh, marriage is unique. Oh. Is unique. Is unique. Different it's, people have their own different. <laughs> different yeah. people have their different styles. It's unique. <laughs> yeah. So you you have unique challenges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it, there should be an agreement, exactly. just like you said. There should yeah. be an understanding of yes. how you want it yes. to work. Yes. Yes. There are some people that you know they feel that okay, how I want it to work, or we agree that yeah. whatever we. We, we earn from yeah. your end, from your exactly. end. Exactly. We put it together. together. We place priorities on what Draw we budgets, need. Yeah. yeah. Just like what works exactly. for my, my exactly. husband and I. Yeah. We put it all together. Mm-hmm. While some, they feel that, oh, okay, um, I earn this, you mm-hmm. earn this. Mm-hmm. The certain percentage yeah. from my money goes yeah. into this every yeah, month then exactly. the rest is for me to decide yeah. how I want to spend it. And the same thing for the other party. But of course, there are some that in your own no. Is for us. Some men cannot even afford to let their wives know how much they earn or to just sit down yeah, because and be discussing of fear. money. Why? Yeah, they, it's because to they are scared. It's my wife and be discussing no, money. No, it's for because what? they are scared, really. Because wow. they have this fear that the moment she knows, yeah. I don't have a say over it. I don't have control over yeah. it. Then she starts, if they feel that the woman will start having ideas of yeah. things that she needs, uh-uh, you mm. have like 10 million mm. in your account. Yeah. Uh, when me, I have some dreams in my mind that yeah, there's so, some things I want to achieve. Uh, so sometimes that's, that's the reason why some yeah, men decide true. There are some to, women like that. Yeah. There but of course, like it comes that. from the place but of then it culture. Be that yes. Knowing who you are engaged Exactly. To. Uh-huh. Wow. So it's because the man... What was the spending habits? Habits. Yeah. What was spending when, when she habits. were dating? Yeah. yeah, one of the things that my husband love about me is that I I I really I I know how to abase and abound. <laughs> when it comes, yes, yes, I know how to. When there is because the thing is, life is up also, and down. Up and down. Yeah. Life is up and down. Mm-hmm. It's up and down. Mm-hmm. You cannot. It cannot be up, 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 No, no, no. All the exactly. Even Jesus experienced his own downtime. Now that was where he suffered for. Yes, it's valley and there is mountain. You will go through the valley. You will go through the mountains. So it's like this every time. It's like this. So there will be. Maybe seven years of plenty, seven years yeah. of... You know, it is always like that yeah, with I, everybody. I, I remember there was a time in our with marriage. With everybody. Yeah. So you have to learn... You have to. ...how to, how to abase and you abound to. when there is you. When Even is, when you hit that, um, that contract yeah, that has been... You don't put pressure when you are in the valley. You don't put pressure when you are supposed to abase. Mm. You don't put pressure on the man. I say, hey, hey, you're not mm. doing enough. You did shit. No, no, we don't have this. We don't have that. We don't. Come on. It's the season. You are the help. You mate. have to understand. You should be the one to be able seasons. to manage exactly. support. Manage that That's period for say. your husband. Because actually they are yeah. going through, yeah. they are going through, yeah. you know, emotional yeah. stuff in the fact that, oh, you know, there was money last week and money has wins. Yeah. It just, you know, to right. This is why scripture says houses and riches are from the father, but a yeah, prudent so, wife. Yes. Mm. A prudent, prudent is wisdom. When wisdom. you know how to abase and abound, like yes. a wise woman. Natural manager. Yes, if it's fish, manager. You can, yes. Wisdom. Mm. A prudent wife is from the Lord. Mm-hmm. It's not, nobody gives it. It's only from no, God. No, it's from God. Yeah. It's from God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, there's this thing. Um, like, you know, I mentioned something like, okay, some people, they, they say, okay, this certain amount of money they put aside, 
maybe a percentage of what they are earning they put aside. Mm -hmm. So there's this, um, there are some couples that um, they decide that, okay, you as the husband, you handle house rent. Okay. You handle paying of children bills, by yeah. the, um, school fees by the time they start school. Um, as a wife, I will sort out anything that has to do with our feeding, okay. what we eat in the house and all of that. So now, like you said, we have downtime. It's, mm. it's always, yeah. it's always yes. like this. So, of course, maybe a couple, they both they were both doing well financially. Their career was doing well and all okay. of that. Then in the marriage, something goes wrong. Mm. Probably somebody's business, you know, had yeah. a downside, mm. or somebody lo loses mm, his job, job or a, mm. or a job. And now, for that person that is not so financially, mm. is up. Yeah. Why the other one is, one is down? Yeah. So do you say that because? Do you say because, oh, well, you are the one that is handling the... Mm, maybe the woman is up yeah. and mm. the man is the down. The man is down. You are the one handling the... You should, figure, you should be able to figure you it out. You are the provider. That's what God made you to be. You are the head now. Mm. There was one series that, was, that I watched, one popular series that I watched of a couple. You know, the, the husband was down. I don't know yeah. if you would have watched it. The husband was, you know, trying to find money yeah. to, to sort out mm -hmm. bill. He doesn't have money. The wife was aware. Her business was doing well. Mm -hmm. But she was just telling the husband, oh, don't worry, baby, just calm down. I'm mm -hmm. sure you'll figure it out. Wow. I'm sure you figure it out. And one day, the husband stumbled on some um, bundles of dollars <laughs> in the wardrobe wow. and later found out that the lady has a house. <laughs> she wow. was building, Serious. you know, yeah, and you know, she was like, I was doing it for us. And your husband was like, you were doing it for us? Wow. When we cannot even pay this rent yet, and you know that this is what I'm going through, and your family are begin to, beginning to see that yeah. I'm not, you know, so... Doing enough. Of course, there'll be times like that. It could be short term, mm. it could be long term. Yeah. Some can take one, two, three years. Mm. So... Sh should is it right to say okay you should figure it out yourself that's oh, what no not at all it is not right in any way that would be wickedness from the woman mm. if it is a woman yeah you know to tell the husband to figure it out when you know that there's really no means and all of time. that and you that the lord has blessed the lord has kept you up yeah maybe for that time so you are supposed to if you truly see both of you as one. Mm. You understand? You will know that what you have is it's for, for every, is for, is for, is for, is for the family. family. So, meaning that the Lord has empowered you as the woman at that time. Okay? And sometimes, the thing is, sometimes it might even be a test to the woman. Mm. You know, because God still tests people. Yeah. If God He's, can test Abraham, you God tests people, yes. his own people. Yes. You understand? So if 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 it, can, it might be a test as to how you will handle the situation, as to how you will provide for the house, as to mm. how you would still respect your husband or disrespect your husband mm. because he maybe he... In fact, it's he, not even the time to disrespect uh, your husband. You understand? Some some women do that. Yeah, some women they see do it as that. an opportunity to, exactly. to like talk yeah, anyhow. You can provide for me. Uh, yeah, so, so you don't, don't talk to me. I'm the yes. one that is doing everything in this house. I'm the one that is where I will go out and we don't, you cannot but even you know bits the child you cannot this one this one you must have come and do everything must not only mm. you tired I'm tired you're just useless cannot, uh... you know this, there are women like that who talk to their husbands like that because at that time he's down they, exactly he's down and they are up you okay everything seems to be working for them mm. you know so it is it is it is not so good it is not even good you know to be like that but your job at that point is to help. Mm -hmm. If God has given you the power yeah. at that time, because this life is about seasons. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is about seasons. That guy will not be down forever. forever. So it is time, only but for a while. Yes. There's a time for lifting up. There's exactly. a time for, the cast, the time for exactly. casting down. It is, it is for a while. You know, so it is, it, you have to understand that it is just for a while. Mm -hmm. You just keep praying for him, especially when you know that he's not a lazy man. Yes. It is what happened. Okay? It is what happened. He doesn't, he's not a lazy man. He likes to walk. He likes to go out. So if you see that he's, he's putting effort, he's making efforts, you know, in, 
in get, maybe getting a job again, yeah. in doing in in, in trying, trying to provide to, yeah, yeah. for the house. It might not be so much. Maybe in a month, maybe he got what he was able to get was twenty five thousand. Mm. You know, he pre- did this. He did. He just did some little things in the house. Okay, mm. so it, it is not for you to now have the liberty to talk to <laughs> him. <laughs> Anyhow, Anyhow, and be proud and be, mm. you know, but just because. So I've been there before. Mm. It is what has happened to me. Mm. Yes, for for a, a, a long mm. for 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 a long time, mm. you know, before before God, you know, actually. So God switches tables, you know. God turns things around. Mm. When I knew that my husband, when he was really, really, really down, out of job, mm. you know, I knew that I know. My husband is not a lazy man. Mm-hmm. Everywhere he has, he has worked, he is an asset. Mm-hmm. They didn't want him to go everywhere he has worked. Mm. You understand? So even till now, he's he's not a lazy man. He works hard. He's a hard worker. So I knew at that time that he was out of job, it was God's will mm. for it to be like that. Like that, yeah. yeah. So what I can do as a woman, take care of the house, do not complain, complain. and pray for him. Yes. And that was what I was doing. Do not complain. That's do not very complain. important. Yes. Because emotions can come him. rushing because and you feel Because when you don't like complain, it comes from a place of understanding. Yes. yes. Of the understanding of the season that it is just for a while. Yes. It will not continue to be like like this yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. So and the person the, is making efforts yeah I'm trying to remember this popular scripture that says um, the, for the things that are seen are temporary yes, uh, yes. and the things that, that are, are not seen, seen are eternal, are eternal. Yeah. so the things that you are going through now they are very they are temporary, they are temporary. You, you, you should don't think that it's you it's will, God has made me like this and, and it should be like yeah. that I, <laughs> I, I never even I as at that time when I was up there I didn't know that I could I there was there'll be a time that I, I will be out of job too hmm. so it is as if the table has turned right. so it is season it is a season it, it the life is in seasons so you have to understand the seasons that you are in maybe the valley or the mountain, mountain that you so you know how to, you know, um, manage, uh, the situation. manage the situation. Yeah. So at that, at, at that time, mm. I was just praying for my husband and things got God. really better for him. Mm. And today, he's the one, you know, he sponsored my movie, oh, the movie wow. into the world. <laughs> yes, <laughs> single-handedly, he sponsored my movie. Wow. Yes. See? I mean, he, he, he bought my flight to the UK, everything. Mm. Not, not, not single because I didn't even have money. I was out of mm. job. So Can you imagine? he did every. I was out of job. So he did yeah, everything. Imagine you Things did not that, stand by him. How was exactly. he going to support your own dream? Exactly. Of vision? exactly. You wouldn't have been able exactly. to. Exactly. Exactly. So mm. in this life, let's just try as women, just understand seasons. Yes, so understand we know how seasons. to deal with the situation. Yeah. Yeah. I remember a time too for, for us that mm. um, there's this fish, this Kmanla fish. <laughs> 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 and you know what I'm talking about when I say Kmanla fish? Yes. That was like the order of the yeah. day. And you know, to, to mm. cut costs, you mm. even go as far as going to the cold room yeah. to go and yeah. Yeah. to go and buy it so you get mm. it cheaper yes. and you get it more yeah. and then you know sometimes we eat it and we'll be like we'll be telling ourselves ah you're not going to be a liar you know as my manager no, yeah. we'll push we'll push mm. through we'll push mm. through but then we 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 understood yeah, what we wanted. Exactly. We understood that common vision. Mm. That was the reason why mm. we were in that situation. Mm. Not because we didn't have money. Yeah. But because we decided that mm. that money is not for luxury yeah. now. Mm. That money is to yeah. is That's to is to there. feed yes. a vision. Yes. Wisdom. Because mm. if this vision grows, mm. then of course the vision is seeking yeah. after the kingdom yeah. of God. Then if it grows, mm. God begins to delayed gratification right yeah so Uh God begins to add those things and glory to God today you can say okay we want to buy meat we want to buy chicken we want to have it all but then it doesn't mean we don't have still have that downtime we have that downtime no chicken for now no meat for now this is what you understand but it's what I encourage sisters. Yes. I know it's not all for the sisters. Also, also if you, you are not being encouraged by your husband yeah. or your partner, yeah. it can be quite hard. Yeah. Especially if it's Very not true. reasonable. Very true. You know, there are some men 
when they are out of job, like you said, that is when their ego feels um, mm, threatened. Yes. Yes. And so they, every other thing mm. they have to be superior, mm. they want it to show. Yes. And then when you as the wife, you are trying to make it better. Mm. You be like, so because you have money now, Abby, yeah. because you are still exactly. working, Abby, <laughs> because you have salary now, yeah. we're not here what, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. And because you have money. Why mm. did you tell me when you went to buy the food? When did you went to mm. do this one? So it has to be balanced. Mm. All in all, understanding yeah. who you are in a relationship with. with. Yeah. Understanding. Yeah. So uh, I want to ask, because I'm, I'm, I'm actually the... Um, single balance to this conversation. Okay. <laughs> so, so I want to ask, is it mandatory for a guy in a relationship, a male in a relationship to spend? It's not a marriage yet. Okay. So is it mandatory? Because lately you see, especially when we talked about the money aspect at the beginning of this conversation, where um, if the guy is not really financially buoyant, like he can't, feed me he can't uh, do all that um, provide, provide and all that take too. care of me yeah. yeah but then it's actually a relationship so and since we're talking about believers here so is it mandatory for a guy now in a relationship to sponsor the lady because you're not married to her yet so no. just a relationship yeah. is it mandatory no. is it and is it biblical is it scriptural for believers mm. no 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 it is not oh. it is not if I think um, um, I'm yet to put this up on my on my page uh, on Instagram that um, it is not if a guy and I've said it in my live videos before mm -hmm. that if it, it is not um, the guy's responsibility to take care of you financially yet if he's not married mm -hmm. to you. Yes. Do not expect that because you are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So he must be giving you money. He mm -hmm. must make, give you money for your hair. Monthly allowance. He, must he can you support allowance. if necessary. He must but... give you money to shop. He must give you money for transportation. He should be the one that should take he care of everything you, that has to you do. Must take care of your Uber. He must take care of your Uber. He must take care of everything. No. And those are the requirements for young ladies now. Ah, as, to yes. Why, yes. as to why they can no. consider you for marriage. No, no. You know, those kind of ladies, they they ask for too much mm -hmm. when it comes to you know, love and dating relationship. Even realistic. the guy has not even given you a ring. Just you understand? So it's just the relationship. Mm -hmm. So because if when you do all of that, when you make too much demands, you know, on their finance like that, you make them scared to to go ahead with Marriage. maybe pro yeah you're proposing to yeah. you you know to it's it's it is they see you as someone who's who just lost money mm -hmm. like materialistic ah, 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 does this girl really really love me and they want you, to have millions really... before they say they want exactly. to exactly they go feel ahead. pressured to have so much before they can propose to you you know they feel pressured to and it's, it's not supposed to be like if you are dating let me let me have peace of mind let me be relaxed mm. okay let me not let me be secure let me have let me be secure in you mm. let me let me be able to trust you. Mm -hmm. Let me be able to do... That is what a relationship is all about. A relationship is not about pressure. No. It shouldn't be It's about not about pressure. pressure. Maybe financial pressure. This one, Especially pressure. Whatever pressure. pressure. It is not... Being a relationship is not about pressure. It's be relaxed. Be at peace. Mm -hmm. I'm dating this person. There's no pressure whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Can a relationship just be like that? Mm -hmm. That's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. That's because, the way it should be. Because... Um, some ladies, when they when they do that, when they start demanding and all that and all that, you are not married to this person yet. So why are you doing that? Yeah. You are actually still under your family. So yeah. you were surviving and existing exactly. before that person came Before so you started dating so, this person. Yeah. So, why so it, person? Looks, it makes it look like you went into a relationship so your financial needs can be can met. Can be met. So you yes. can now decide to spend yes. your money how uh -huh. what, whichever one is so, your personal money however because you, you now went into a relationship so your financial needs can be met you, you you so when the guy doesn't give you 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 feel like he's he doesn't he's not, love you exactly doesn't he doesn't care love he doesn't have you like, in mind like that exactly. should be what you used to measure love yes. Yes. should be only yes. money money it's not supposed to be yeah. so mm. it's not at all mm. at all mm. yeah okay so um okay so 
um, what I want to ask now, I think we've kind of touched okay. on it um, okay. somehow, but in the real sense of it, can love actually thrive mm. without money? Oh, yes. <laughs> love, love can actually thrive without, without money. money. Mm. Yes, because money is an added advantage mm. to love, really. You know, so um, uh, in my early years of marriage, okay, so we didn't have it all together financially, you know, even um, uh, in terms of, you know, understanding each, each other. other yeah, we didn't have normal. it. We, di we didn't have it. Mm. You know, we struggled for like three years, three to four years to understand each other. So mm. at that point in those times we we always have misunderstandings a lot mm. quarrels misunderstandings so and we didn't even have money <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it now made it look like maybe we are fighting because there was a time I sat myself down and I I, I tried to because I, I love to evaluate a lot mm. So I was asking myself, ah, is it because we don't have money? Is it That's because it doesn't have fighting. money? Because I wanted to know that, am I reacting because it does not have money? Hmm. So I had to ask myself, as in sit down. And the thing is, that if, if it is that, I will not even marry him. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, he did this, he did that. He, he was, he's not supposed to, he's not, he, he, and he now said, he now, so I, I go, I, when there's quarrel like that, I sit down to check to it rem, yeah, yes. to see where yeah, where my fault, fault is. is rather than holding on to where exactly. he got it wrong so it was later like in our yeah, fourth year we now started understanding each other and it wasn't like there's still money money then mm -hmm. we now started understanding each other less quarrel less misunderstanding less this one that one so everything we are we are good mm. I, I remember Many times, countless times, we'll be on the bed, we we'll call each other, we we'll now say, ha, ah, my wife, my dear, my husband. We we'll now say, ah, yeah, oh no, it's money that is remaining. I will not go by. My husband used to say that a lot. As in, he used to say that a lot because it looks like we now understand each other. And the money didn't even come until like eight, the eighth year of marriage. Mm -hmm where we started getting very comfortable. We can, mm. okay, travel. Mm. We can do this. We can... Things that you've talked about uh, uh, that yes, you want to exactly. achieve. Exactly. We can I, can... I can... I can produce my own film. I can do this. I can... I can do things that... You've, I, yeah, you've dreamed, you've dreamed things, of. Do you understand? We can ride a car that we like we mm. we can we can afford this we can afford that you know as in really, can finance really the ministry as well exactly you know and you see when we started understanding each other to when to where you understand the time was quite short and everything had already exactly. come together exactly it was until <laughs> fourth year started understanding each other everything became very okay between each, uh, less yeah. quarrels and then maybe it was probably four years after you know we now started having money little little change and so all you were so kind of love so it is very possible, possible. love can thrive without can thrive. if you know why you are in the relationship exactly. the vision of that relationship if you know but if it is money that made you to, to then without that money that love cannot thrive cannot thrive wow it's yeah cannot thrive. but that you want to know if love can thrive without money it can it I'm, can I'm a living yes example. it can it can so. I second that too <laughs> <laughs> yes it can yeah it can yeah I'm putting I'm putting that in the future <laughs> yes so please we advise you to yeah it pays off it in can. the end it yeah. might not be easy yes, at the yes, beginning yes. It, but it pays off in the end yes. I remember myself that we, we when we started as well we started with a, in a one room yeah because we wanted to satisfy yes. you know we went all the way to Ibafo mm. to go and rent two bedroom flat because oh. you get it at 150k mm. We wow. just put our things there, but we were just wow. staying, you know. Mm. But uh, uh, later on, we were able to, okay, move out from there, mm. come closer to yeah. Lagos and all of that in the midst of our fish mm. eating. Mm. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but we thank God. You yes. still have something yeah, yeah. to so say? <laughs> just to, because now from what you're saying, yeah. um, you actually started from somewhere which was not really rosy. Mm -hmm. So a, a single person might be asking, does it mean that it's advisable to 
start with someone, build with someone, or go for a ready-made. Because, yes, because from your stories now, yeah. you actually started from somewhere. Yeah. And it was because you had an understanding yes, of yes. how life yes. is and all that. So is it advisable? Okay, so the thing is, um, it is not about when choosing a life partner, it is not about, ah, it is better to start with someone than to start with a, a ready-made. Mm. It is not about that. Mm. It is about who you think is right for you. Exactly. Sure. What you can tolerate. It is about who you think, whether he has money or not. Or not yeah. Is it right for you? Mm. Mm. Does go, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it the one that God wants, God for, wants you? for you? Is it right for you? Do mm. you feel peace with him? Do you yes. feel secure in him? Do you feel like this is the person it is not regardless so it, you shouldn't look at oh it is just better to build with somebody that does not have anything mm. so that when you are yeah, so I'm just looking out for somebody that no 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 it is not about that so God can say that oh the person I want for you he, he is a ready made mm-hmm. and he will still love you yeah. so far you know that you are not loving him based on, based on what, what he, he has, has what already he has. So it's yeah. about you and it's about understanding who God wants. Understanding the fact that um, God wants this one or that one is not, it's mm. not, the criteria is not based mm. on mm. start with somebody or yeah. don't start, start exactly. with somebody. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> long discussion. Uh, it's a long word and <laughs> it is. Geonic, <laughs> did I get that? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Geonic, as you know, indeed, uh, shook. Uh, is it shook or shooky? Which word? Which word should we use? Shook, yeah. She has or indeed, shaking, she yeah. Has sh- yeah. She shaking. has indeed shaking the table, you know, for on this on this discussion, and I believe that we have some. Um, take home that we want to live with us you know on this on this topic that says um, financial stability as a determinant um, factor in relationships. relationships relationships on all fronts whether in courtship or in marriage. marriage of course we've been able to establish the fact that um, it is from the place of courtship that mm-hmm. you start you know planning for that lifetime decision that you want to get yourself into so from the place of courtship marriage we've been able to iron out some issues and our dear sister here has also done you know great justice awesome awesome (laughs) yeah great great justice to it so i will say that um um like like we have all said but i will say that we should um, be careful to understand whoever we are in a relationship with yeah, be careful to understand whoever you're in a relationship with so that you'll be able to understand how matters work in terms of finances, not only finances, love, sex. There are so many, you know, aspects of yes, this marriage and yes, relationship yes. that if they are not well, you know, ironed out, dealt with, they will pose themselves at serious problem in the marriage in the future. And yes. all of a sudden you just feel that, Did I really love this man? Mm. Did I really love this woman? So the place of understanding is important. Mm. Setting boundaries too is very important when it comes to finances. Let your spouse know Mm. what he can, let your spouse know what you can accommodate. Can he accommodate your spending habits Mm. or he will prefer to be um, somebody, have you as somebody that saves, you know? So you need to understand that so that you can also work together in that light so that I don't share all the take home. I know you have something to say for us as take home, but let's have yours as last. Let's have Christabel. I don't know if she has anything to... Okay. uh, (laughs) Any take home? General take home. It's not all about the money all yeah. the time. Don't be all about the money. Stop. Money is not the ultimate. Do something for yourself still because even yeah. if you get married, you still need to have something doing. So yes. start up something for yourself. Stop transferring all your fatherly responsibilities to your yes. um, yeah. your boyfriend. Yes. yes. Or your it's motherly not, responsibilities. Yes. Because yes. All, some men are actually yes. this, you know, some men too. No, some they, men don't even don't, see it as an issue. Yeah. But still... Yeah, yeah but some too, they have, yeah. um, they don't have, um, how do you define themselves also dependent on women? Mm. 
it's not only on the side of the yeah, woman yeah, it's just yeah. that it's more on yeah, the side yeah. of the woman mm. but when you hear some women story too you hear about Very how they irresponsible are they are yes yeah. the final yeah. they have prayed ladies. some that were doing yes. really well in their yeah. businesses but out of love for another yeah. man the man came in and you know yes. he just finished whatever it is that they've built in together yes. yeah so man mm. yeah, so, <laughs> i think Just, we basically we have really talked okay. about yeah. everything everything that has to do with love mm. and then finance mm. yeah but then i just want to say that um um financial stability is good yeah 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 so it is good but most importantly If you are a single lady um go for a hard worker. Mm. Yeah. He might not be all that financially stable. Stable but at the point. Do not <laughs> marry a lazy man. Yes. Most that works. important what is yeah, most important that mm-hmm. is that he's hard working. Mm-hmm. Because some are finding hard to get a job. Yes. So because he doesn't have a job does that mean that He, he, you know he's, he's lazy exactly he's lazy or something no mm. he's he, if you know that he's getting his hands busy yes. or dirty doing something he's not just talking exactly mm. yeah so you know, not a dreamer exactly yeah. Yeah. not a dreamer some exactly. are just dreamers but they are just sitting in the house and so, pressing phone yes. but without what you're you not making any action what's but going on yes. what are you doing they just yes. they just say I, I, yes. I, i want to i want to do this yes. there's this um contract i mm. want to do, but you're yeah. sitting not, in the house yeah. you're not, you're not doing, doing anything, anything. to dreamers not dreamers not talkers they just talk they are they are sweet talkers they sweet mouths yes exactly they have sweet mouths okay so So don't make sure that he's always doing something he's hard working mm-hmm. yeah that is what is most important. important yeah make sure that he's someone that cannot sit down mm. he cannot sit yes. down doing nothing nothing yeah he won't be comfortable exactly yeah that's yeah. it yeah Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, it has been a very wonderful session here with mm-hmm. our dear sister, our dear mama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can you. see how pretty she is, Aww. you know? Very, very pretty. <laughs> But don't look at her too much. Or she's already taken, you know, already but you can taken. they know, they know. <laughs> they know, right? They know. <laughs> But you can trust God, you know, to, you know, to give you somebody as, you know, pretty <laughs> and beautiful yeah. as she is. So thank you so much, Ma, thank for joining us on this session. Thank for having thank me thank you we learned a thank lot you. we appreciate <laughs> it and we thank you for honoring our invite we are indeed 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 grateful yeah. okay so it is the gospel truth i want you to join us on this so we take the gospel truth shaking, shaking table okay. using the, the scriptures, scriptures. Okay. All, right. all right okay so this is the gospel truth shaking, shaking the tables, tables using the, the scriptures, scriptures. <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much god bless you and also don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms and on youtube at promote gospel tv yes yes if you've not watched our past episodes please go and watch them yeah and we also have YouTube. podcasts that you can listen to maybe yeah. you can sit down and watch videos you want to yes. be busy while you're listening so yes you can check them out on spotify amazon deezer and any other podcast platform thank you so much for watching thank god you. bless you see you again next time bye, bye. <laughs>